All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get started on today's webinar. Uh, thanks to everybody that's uh, joined so far. Uh, my name is Rob Precious, and I'm the Director of Enterprise Sales here at COM100. Uh, to cover uh, what we'll be covering off today, uh, go over a bit of a brief presentation, uh, a bit of an overview of what makes COM100 uh, so great for, for large enterprise. Um, then we'll, we'll jump over to a live demo where I'll be uh, showcasing uh, the COM100 Enterprise platform. Uh, from the visitor's experience on the website, uh, we'll go through the agent console uh, and show how the agents would interact, of course, with the visitors. Um, and then from there, uh, we'll open up to any questions. And then uh, after the webinar, post-webinar today, uh, we'll be sharing with you or make available uh, the recording. Uh, so you can feel free to, to watch at your leisure. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. So why is Common 100 so great for large enterprise? Uh, well, first of all, the solution itself has been proven now. Uh, Common has been deployed at some of the largest uh, organizations and brands uh, over all over the world. Uh, you know, really, given that it is a live chat solution, uh, really anyone, any industry, any company uh, is able to take advantage of live chat by adding it to the website. Uh, you know, as a way to engage with your customers um, in a support uh, sense, uh, supporting your customers uh, for any questions they may have, and of course to uh, facil facilitate sales uh, online. Uh, we've noted that so many of our customers have reported, uh, you know, 50% increase in conversions. Uh, from their website, and also being able to reduce support costs uh, by over 30%, uh, considering that you are able to have agents that are able to manage multiple chats at one time uh, to reduce those those phone waiting queues. Another uh, feature that makes Home 100 uh, so great for large enterprise is the security of our platform. Um, so Common 100 is the only chat provider which has, which is currently PCI DSS compliant. Uh, also right now we are uh, undergoing our ISO 27001 certification, uh, which is another major differentiator for our platform. Uh, the application itself has many security features included, uh, features like credit card masking, secure PCI forms, IP restrictions and such. Uh, also, the physical, physical infrastructure security itself, um, one major differentiator is for Common 100 uh, is our 100% uptime technology, uh, which is a patented solution, uh, which essentially is uh, uh, server redundancy or data center redundancy, so that if one data center were to go down, the backup center would uh, kick in, uh, providing a seamless failover. Um, given that chats that are in progress would not uh, stop, uh, there's no lapse in communication there. Um, so that uh, the backup the server would kick in right away. So another great differentiator for those call centers which are 24-7 uh, and do require that 100% uh, uptime themselves. Common 100 provides an industry-leading feature set. Um, our solution is fully customizable. So really from every aspect of what the visitor sees on your website, um, you know, whether it be the, the visitor window, you know, adding of logos, uh, ensuring the branding is consistent across the website, across the, you know, any branding guidelines that are required. Um, as well, uh, a client can, can configure the, the chat window itself uh, by using our built-in CSS editor. They can also add their own JavaScript to the window. Um, there's a variety of pre-chat, post-chat, offline message uh, forms that can be fully customized as well. Uh, the Commodore's chat solution has an industry-leading advanced uh, chat routing platform. Uh, enabling our clients to route chats to appropriate departments uh, based on a variety of conditions. So that could be things like, you know, where, what page the chat was originated from. Uh, and, and, you know, let's say, for example, it was a particular product page, you need to go to a certain department, or potentially if it were, uh, you know, a support chat, you know, from the support site or uh, from the sales side of things, going to the sales team. Um, we can also assign priority two different uh, uh, queues as well, so enabling you to manage your queues even better. Also, the integration Common provides, uh, we have you know, a full uh, API that the client can, uh, can take advantage of as well, deep integration with Salesforce, uh, Zendesk, and amongst the many other uh, plugins we have already built into our system uh, via and Cisco integration as well. The Common platform has some of the most comprehensive uh, reporting uh, available today. 
uh, with any chat provider. Uh, we actually re recently did a, a very large uh, upgrade to our reporting platform, uh, and adding more than, I believe, uh, 18 new reports. And uh, so now the reporting platform is very, very uh, comprehensive indeed. We'll go through some of the additional features we'll, uh, we'll be adding in the demo today, but uh, some of the features we have under development, which will be released shortly, uh, chatbot, uh, deep integration for social media with Facebook and Twitter, uh, video and audio chat, and some other really uh, great features as well. When it comes to deployment, um, really uh, with our solution, we really pride ourselves on being able to uh, deploy in any client requirement. So the majority of our clients currently use our shared platform, um, which is the easiest to deploy. You can be up and running early in a matter of minutes, and depending on the level of customization required or configuration, it may take a little bit longer. Of course, training and items like that can add some time as well, but uh, essentially being able to add the chat to your website can be done uh, very, very quickly on our shared platform. Uh, the private server is for clients where there may be a requirement for, um, uh, or the client, the, the client uh, may have a extremely high volume of chats or traffic on their site. Uh, we have clients right now that have over a million chats uh, per year, and therefore we have to push them over to a private server, you know, therefore um, providing them with a little bit um, of a better um, experience overall. Also for clients that require any custom features, custom integration, uh, we can deliver that um, and of course provide it on a, on a private server as well. And then lastly, the on-premises deployment. Uh, so we find that many of our clients in the financial or insurance industry, you know, credit unions, banks and such, uh, typically prefer to host our application on their own uh, infrastructure. Uh, and we can certainly provide that uh, for your team as well. So all options are available. Another key differentiator for COM100 is the ability to deliver custom development, uh, whether it be you know, a custom feature, uh, very specific to that particular client or industry, uh, custom integration, uh, reports. Um, so we've done a lot of uh, custom development over the last couple of years, uh, really building out our chat solution. And ultimately, some of these features get rolled into our, our, our main um, platform for other clients to benefit from. Um, so it's really a collaborative process when it comes to you know, the, the need to improve constantly the COM100 chat solution and of course provide our clients with the best possible experience. For onboarding and training, so as part of the common owner deployment process, we do provide our clients with not only a dedicated account manager, but a dedicated solution consultant. Uh, the solution consultant is uh, really a hybrid role between a project manager, uh, a bit of a sort of a, a named resource for all the support side of things, that really knows the client's uh, deployment, the details of that deployment, uh, provide them with some personalized support. Um, all the while, of course, our, our support team are available for any other inquiries after hours, of course, but um, personalized support, and then we do have a training team here which will deliver very customized training, whether it be power user, uh, you know, super admin, or uh, operator training as well. And on the topic of support, so Common does, Common does provide a 24-7 dedicated customer support. Uh, we manage our we have support teams uh, on other side of the globe, so we can manage our, like we're based in Vancouver, but we actually have another office over in Asia to handle that side of the, of, uh, the market. Um, and so essentially able to provide 24-7 support, of course, over chat, uh, but we do have phone and email support as well. All right, so let's jump over to the demo now. I'll uh, we'll pull up the right now. Which is, so this is an example of, the, of uh, one example of the common order dashboard. But I wanted to start just by taking a look at what the visitor sees when they hit your site. Uh, this is an example uh, of one website where we have uh, done a little bit of demo set up for uh, our chat solution. Uh, so what you're seeing right now is the offline message window. Think of this as an area or, or a means to capture any messages when your agents are not available. Now this could be uh, you know, after hours when folks have gone home for the day, if the operation is not 24-7, or it could be when a queue uh, it reaches max capacity and maybe there's a certain number of chats that can be active in the queue or a certain number of chats an agent can handle. Once they hit that, that max capacity, the, uh, we can put an offline message up so that way um, you know, they can clear the queue and then respond to these offline messages as they come in. 
As you can see as well, when it comes to the branding, uh, it's quite easy to, to do so within our solution. Of course, we can only take it to the next level as far as resizing these windows with CSS. Um, but really just adding a logo, matching of colors, it's very simple to do. Uh, also, the uh, full co configuration of the, uh, the fields within the window here. Of course, that's uh, very easy to do within our solution as well. And we'll, we'll go through the control panel and how to do that a little bit later on. But right now, I'm just going to do a uh, quick login here. And we'll see this window go live. And we can start simulating some chats. All right, so I'll do a little refresh there. Beautiful. So now that the, uh, again, when it comes to these icons that I'm showing right now, this is just a generic icon I grabbed out of our gallery. Um, but uh, for, you know, any, any deployment a client may require, we can add, uh, very easily add customized icons, upload those directly from uh, a desktop computer, laptop computer. Uh, of course, someone's a client's marketing team can, you know, really brand that icon. Uh, create something much more, much more in line with that of the website. Um, but for the, the purposes of the demo today, we'll uh, just go with with the generic uh, gallery image. So I've just opened up the uh, the icon there, and now we see the pre-chat window. So generally, the pre-chat form is a, a great way to uh, well, first of all, capture some client information that uh, will show up once the uh, the chat comes through to the agent. Uh, but also as a means to begin to route these chats to the appropriate team. Um, so there could be a drop-down menu here with nature of inquiry, uh, department you want to be transferred to, product of interest. There's a variety of different ways to ensure that these chats are going to the best uh, team or individual uh, student to handle the inquiry. I will go ahead and, and pop my details in there. And let's start chatting. So for the purposes of the webinar today, I've opted to um, show uh, what a client would see if the queue was full. Um, in this case, I can see that I'm number one in the queue. Uh, within our um, solution, there is a means as well to actually show what a wait time would be in the queue. So for those that are quite busy, their queues get backed up. It's something that's nice for a client to see how long they'll be waiting for. Uh, and that's a solution, that's a feature that's available within our solution. Um, of course, we can disable this. It can be, the chats can be automatically allocated uh, to, the, to the, the nearest available agent. Or uh, we can also have them, again, re, uh, leave a message and have and be followed up with a uh, later time. I'll go ahead and accept that chat. Great. So we see now the agent has joined the chat. And actually, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to line up the two windows so we can see the chat in action. I transfer it over here. There we go. A little bit larger. Perfect. All right. So let's uh, let's begin to chat. So a couple of things. Um, after the as the individual is typing in the chat window. So I have a question about my account. As you can see over in the agent console here, uh, the agent is able to see what the visitor is typing before they send the message through. Uh, we call this feature sneak a peek, which is a great way uh, to really, uh, well, I guess from a, an efficiency perspective, to be able to look into the account, um, you know, if it's a question about billing or something like that or an order they're waiting for, uh, you know, check the status of that before the message is even sent through. Um, another option as well, from a sales perspective, you know, to gauge the mindset of the chat of the the visitor uh, a little bit more. They're writing and deleting text. Sometimes it's easy to sort of get what they're driving at. I'll type that send that message through. Uh, also, to walk you through, what we're seeing in the chat window here. Uh, so the first uh, I icon is the ability to send a file through to the agent. Uh, I can also uh, request a, a transcript of the chat to be sent to my email. I can begin to rate the chat. So of course, there's a post-chat survey which will display uh, after the chat is completed. And then there's some uh, sound and name printer options as well. 
Uh, now, any or all of these icons can be um, removed at the client's discretion. Again, you want to ensure that there's brand consistency uh, in line with that of the website as well. Another feature available within the Common Learn solution is our auto-translate. So right now, I'll go ahead and send a, a message through in Spanish. As you can see, the auto-translation immediately detects that. Uh, the text language is in Spanish, so I can go ahead and turn the translation on here and respond with, please let me check your account, which I'll write in English. And uh, lo and behold, here on the visitor side, it uh, does the real-time translation, uh, but also keeps the English text uh, for, of course, the agent to not lose their place in the conversation, uh, and also for any chat transcripts, post-chat, any review needs to be done, be able to, of course, you know, uh, see the English and, uh, text as well. It will make it that much easier to do uh, any reviews that need to be uh, completed. All right, so let's go and take a look over now in the, the Common Herd Live Chat. This is the Agent Console, we also known as the, uh, the Visitor Monitor. Um, so looking along the bottom here, so first of all, we can see a couple of things, you know, where the person's based, the operating system, the browser they're using. Uh, along the bottom, I can adjust the font size of the chat. I can transfer the chat to another agent or department. So by clicking the transfer button, I can select my sales department or select an agent. The list of agents would drop down. Um, also, I can send a file from my local machine back to the visitor. There may be a bill, an invoice, something along those lines. Um, here we can chat. We can attach this chat to a ticket. So this would be uh, an example of integration with a ticketing system. Um, so we can actually have that uh, custom integration done. Now that's one of the tabs over here, which I'll get into a little bit later on. Um, or uh, using our API as well, we can uh, have these these uh, chat transcripts attached to or sent to your your ticketing system. Next up, we have the auto translate, which I can click on again, and I can see the drop down of all the available languages. Uh, so it'd be interesting to note as well that the Common Herd chat solution we use uh, Google Translate Premium uh, now as our as our translation platform. So we recently uh, previously using uh, Google Translate, uh, and we had some clients request uh, Google Translate Premium. Uh, which we've done some beta testing in, with, and, and now it's ready to release on our shared, our main platform, uh, which is fantastic because it really is a powerful translation tool. Um, next up here we have the uh, screen sharing. So there's the ability now to add uh, or do screen sharing within the Common 100 platform. Uh, so I'll, I'll give an example here within, uh, I wanted to add my GoToMeeting account. So we have join.me and GoToMeeting as options for clients to select. So I go ahead and add my GoToMeeting account here. And what it'll do, as you can see, it adds the GoToMeeting icon. So I go ahead and click that. And on the visitor side, it sends over the GoToMeeting link for them to click. Uh, so they would need, of course, to download the, uh, the GoToMeeting plugin. It takes a couple of seconds, but then they can share their screen, the agent can share their screen, uh, and make it that much easier. So definitely great from a support perspective. I'll cancel that right now. Um, and then lastly, we have our PCI compliant payment form. Uh, so to give an example of the one I've optimized, now this would just be an example of how to capture maybe some credit card information. So if someone's trying to make a payment online or update their credit card, um, you're able to capture this information here, completely secure form. As I said, the solution, our solution is PCI compliant. Uh, when the um, a visitor sends through their credit card details, it will render over here in the in the uh, chat window the agent can see. Uh, however, when the chat is closed out, so when the chat's over, the agent's now on to the next chat, uh, there's no none of the payment information in this card, this form is destroyed, and the payment information is not, or the credit card information is not saved uh, within the chat transcript. Um, so essentially the agent will use it once, add it, update their, their files, update the system, make the payment, uh, and then it would be destroyed. Um, also, these forms can be, you can have multiple forms. They can be potentially a bank uh, bank information or any personal identifying information uh, that you need to collect it can be done in a very secure uh, manner within our chat solution. All right, so that's it on the visitor side of things. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this window a little bit larger here. And we can go ahead and start taking a little deeper look into the agent console. 
Um, so first up here on the right hand side, if I do, if I click on that arrow, there's a drop down. Now any of the information entered in the pre-chat form uh, would display here for the agent to see. I'll get into how we use custom variables and visitor segmentation a little bit later on in the demo because it's not been optimized in our, um, our demo account, um, but it is there. We'll talk about that shortly. Also, their location from IP, uh, where they're based, where they came in from, where they're currently browsing on your site. And if I were to navigate over, or, or if I wanted to navigate over to the previous chat history, I can either click the, uh, the chat here, or I just click on the history tab, uh, and now I can do I bring myself up to speed on previous chats that have occurred, pre-chat information, any custom variables that would be added, any offline messages that were submitted, and even their visit history is all tracked uh, in here as well. And if I go to the navigation page, again, I'm able to see where they navigated on my site, or in this case, other, other demos that I've done, um, where they've navigated on, that, on those particular sites. And then next up, we have the CAN messages. So this is the CAN message tab. Of course, these CAN messages are searchable. So I can search for a particular message by typing in the box there. I can also click the drop down. There can be uh, categories and subcategories for the select. They can also select their or create their own private uh, messages if they want, or your agents can. You can add keyboard shortcuts and hotkeys uh, to the CAN messages as well to make it that easier to send them out simply by you know, hitting the hashtag here, you can select the, the kind of message you need. All right, so the, uh, the fourth tab I'm gonna show you right now, this is our wrap-up survey. Um, so think of this as a, a way to capture whatever relevant information uh, you need from your agents, from those that are chatting with your visitors. Um, now this could be you know, providing a disposition to the chat, um, or you know the, what the nature of the inquiry was, if there's a follow-up required, was a sale made, what products were discussed, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, the nice thing about this as well is this can be recorded on um, after the chat's completed, weekly, monthly, um, however, however uh, many times is required. <clears throat> the last tab here is the Salesforce tab. Uh, so there's quite a deep integration that Column Hunter has done now with Salesforce. Uh, if a client is not using Salesforce, this tab would not show up. Uh, it's only when you've actually created and, and added the, uh, logged in and added the, uh, the plugin uh, from the Common Hunter control panel. Uh, but a variety of actions can be completed here. Uh, a chat can be, you know, you can uh, create a lead and attach a task to that lead from the chat. A case can be created, create a contact and attach to a case. Uh, so essentially, you just go through and add all the relative uh, information, in which case for me, it's already been added, so I can't actually uh, do that here. So I can uh, create a contact. Now I've got, uh, yeah, so, so just like that, you're able to go ahead and, and create a case. But because I've done this before, it's not going to show me the fields. Uh, I'd have to have, I would have to have cleared my, uh, my cache, which I did not. Um, all right, so last up here, we have the, uh, actually before I go show that, I'll be the visitor monitor. Um, if you log out and show it from the COM100 side of things, that's hopefully we can do some real-time monitoring of, uh, of some chats. Just go ahead and log in here. All right, perfect. So now that we can see a lot more information, of course, because this is a, more of a live uh, scenario as opposed to the, uh, the demo scenario. Um, great, so uh, right now it appears there actually is not any chats going on, but I'll just go ahead and, and create one for the purposes of the webinar today. Um, so here we go, chat with us, and we'll see me being assigned here. Perfect, so I've been assigned now to one of my, uh, one of our support team, and uh, we can just, you know, so you can see now that the chats come through, um, the visitor info. If I were to click on the details of this visitor, uh, we can see that you know, just some standard information, my name, I've not, I've not filled out a pre-chat form, uh, and where I'm based, of course. Um, now, for, for anyone that needs to monitor chats in real time, uh, in order to do that, we simply click on the monitor icon there. And now a manager can, can silently or secretly monitor the chat while it's going on. Just like so. So as the individual types in real time, uh, they're able to, of course, uh, monitor that for compliance reasons. 
Um, further to that, you'll notice there's an Agents tab down here. If I go ahead and click on that Agents tab, uh, I'm able to see a drop down of all the available agents, myself on away, all the available agents, and I can go ahead and offer PRIT or offer one of my agents some additional uh, help or assistance, and, um, say this or say that on the chat. Uh, if it's becoming an escalated issue or someone has a question that they are not able to answer. Um, now the next step to that would be if someone needs to step in on the chat, whether it be um, in a different department or if the question you know, becomes an escalated issue, I can hit join. And now we see that another agent has joined the chat. At this point, I can begin to chat with the visitor as well. Uh, and Prit has the option to leave the chat um, or remain on. So you can actually have multiple agents on one chat. That's an example of, of the monitoring that the solution provides. Um, you'll note over here that, so now we have the visitor monitor. So really anyone that's on the site at any given time, we're able to uh, now take a look at it and see, for example, we can click on a particular client, uh, see where they're based, see information about them. Um, for example, we have a uh, digital group here. We can see details from a details page of the use of custom variables, you know, the email associated with that, type of account, type of product they're using, site ID, uh, and things of that nature. Now, if I wanted to filter this down because there are so many chats that are ongoing, uh, I'm able to do so and monitor all chats, or go ahead and just monitor my own, my own chats. We can also apply custom filters to uh, see only chats of a certain department uh, or a certain queue or certain, even certain product or even, again, depending on how the organization is set up, whether it be country, uh, department, product, uh, we can have the, the filter supply to that as well. This chat console can also be popped out. So if I were to go and hit this arrow icon, I can actually pop out the visitor console. So th for those that have multiple screens and want to keep an eye on what ongoing chats you know, on one screen and on the other screen be monitoring um, the actual uh, what's happening on the chat, uh, you can do so very easily. And pop it back in. Great, so that's the demo of the actual visitor monitor. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to the control panel and we can begin to go through uh, some of the customization options that are available. All right, so back to the dashboard here. Um, for those that are wondering about how to get up and running with COM100, uh, if you were on the shared platform, it's just a matter of grabbing this little snippet of code here and adding that to the web pages where you want the chat icon to appear. Uh, and from there, it's just a matter of downloading our agent console or using the, uh, the web-based edition, and you can begin chatting right away. Next up, I'll, I'll walk through with the campaign tab. Um, so for the purposes of today's demo, I optimized more of a branded example of the chat on one site. Uh, but just to show how I did that, uh, the first thing we can do here is go through the uh, first of all, uh, positioning of the button, selecting the button either from the gallery or from my computer. You can also use an embedded text link somewhere on the site. And as we begin the branding process, the first thing we do is we start with the chat window. At this point, we would pick you know, the banner image. If it's going to be a company logo or something else, we would uh, begin to match the color using our, our color wheel here. Uh, we, can we can actually change this. So if the, if the uh, agent wanted to have or the company wants to have a picture of the agent and then have the company logo over here, it's quite easy to do so. And then we can change the message style. We can use our CSS editor to configure that even further. And uh, we can even change the window from embedded to a pop-out uh, by hitting switch here. And then there's many other options as well. So we go down to advanced. Uh, we can add custom JavaScript to the chat window. Uh, so quite easy to really customize these windows. And once the, the actual chat window itself has been conf configured and customized uh, to the client's liking, the next step would be to add or to update the, uh, the pre-chat form. So from the pre-chat form, we can change or update the text on the top here. We can update the greeting message, add social media logins, update the fields we see here, whether it be you know, product service, something like that, or 
such a product or service you're interested in. And then we hit save, just like so. Also, when we uh, when we optimize the chat on a client site, uh, it is uh, it is custom or it is configured in real time, so that uh, any changes made to the pre-chat form reflect on the, the website uh, without any delay. Now we'll move down to the post-chat survey. So be able to capture uh, you know the rating some additional comments, or maybe there's some additional uh, fields that uh, you want to add. Uh, you can add a drop-down list, a checkbox list, uh, any questions that are, are relevant or necessary after the chat is completed. The offline message. So we can have that appear, or we don't want it to appear. We can have it redirect to a different URL or have nothing appear at all. Proactive chat invitations. Uh, so you can use generic invitations from the gallery. These, of course, can be branded. They can be customized and uploaded into the system. Uh, you can have uh, invitations uh, displayed from a variety of different prompts. We can also have the invitation be an actual chat window rather than um, you know, just the invitation pop-up, uh, just to make it seem like there is somebody right there available to help. Now let's go ahead and create an invitation. So we'll call this one test. And we'll add some conditions here. So an invitation can be created based on the time that the individual is on the website for, the time on a current page, the current page URL, search engine that came in from, search keywords, how many times they've come back, visit and chat times, even where they're based. We can also use our custom variables to optimize these invitations as well. And then we'll move down to the agent wrap-up survey. So similar to how you would optimize the pre-chat and post-chat survey, the agent uh, wrap-up survey uh, works in the same manner. So you would just go through, and any um, questions you want to appear in the uh, the wrap-up portion of the visitor monitor, uh, so over right here, any questions you'd like to add in there, you can simply build out via the campaign. All right, so move down now to routing rules. So to optimize the routing rules, we can do some very basic routing where an uh, individual would choose an apartment and it would go through with a particular a certain priority associated with it. Uh, we can also create some custom rules just like so. So we can say if the current page URL contains X, it goes to the sales department if it's a product page. Uh, or if it's in the support uh, site, it would go to, of course, the support uh, um, team. Um, so there's a variety of different ways here, chat requesting page URL, a lot of the same uh, options that are in the uh, proactive chat invite are, are available within the uh, the routing. Um, we, call, of course, can use the pre-chat form, so nature of inquiry, um, the department they want to be transferred to, to send that through the appropriate department, and, of course, the custom variables as well. And of course, we can associate a priority with each uh, with each type of of, uh, of routing rule we we create. So, for those that do have certain SLA associated with a particular uh, let's say VIP client, um, you're able to create those different rules in the system. Lastly, uh, for multiple campaigns, uh, so an example, a great example here would be for those that are using chat for sales and support, you may have a different chat campaign created for your support team with different pre-chat questions, different post-chat questions, um, going to a different department. Uh, and then for the sales team, you may want to uh, qualify that chat a little bit as well before you wrote that through to the sales team. So we can create um, some different multiple campaigns um, and have those available to some, or for those that support multiple websites as well having a campaign for each website nicely branded and being sent to the appropriate team so they can see exactly where the chat's coming from. Next up we have the settings. All right, so first thing out is be able to uh, configure the CAN messages, all done here, be it public or private, uh, creating out departments, managing the auto allocation, so I'll, I'll stop and talk about the allocation for a moment here. So uh, you're able to see that you can have a different type of allocation rule for different departments. So whether it be load balance, round robin, capability weighted, 
Uh, you can have the last agent preferred so that if someone was chatting with a certain agent and then came back to chat again, if that agent is available, the chat would be routed uh, back to them. And then overflow department. So selecting a backup department or an overflow department, uh, should everyone be full or, or all the agents are busy in the, uh, the first department, um, you have a backup department created as well. And then down here we have creating of max chats for each agent. So we can just set all agent chats to be three or, or whatever the number is. Uh, or we can go through here and we can say that because one agent spin is more senior, they can handle more chats and someone's brand new and therefore they can only handle one chat. The visitor segmentation is a feature that was recently added as well. Um, you know, Pull this up right now. Okay, perfect. So the way the visitor segmentation um, works is we can have, let's say, for example, that someone was to have a chat and they don't have or come on and have a support experience. It was not a great experience. Therefore, they gave a poor rating. So what we can do is have that uh, segment built into the system so that if that individual comes back onto the site, um, we can actually notify a certain department, maybe it's the customer care department, uh, maybe it's the manager's team, supervisor's team, just to ensure they keep an eye on that uh, particular chat um, and that way provide a better experience the second time around. Also, if there are you know, VIP clients or key accounts that need when, um, a certain uh, account manager needs to be notified when they come on the site, we can create those visitor segments and those particular rules uh, as well. Here we have the security tab where we can create our secure forms, just like I showed uh, earlier on in the demo, uh, the credit card form, a bank, uh, uh, a bank details form, or any type of personal identifying information, social security number, SIN number, healthcare information. And here we have the chat history tab. Uh, so this is going to show or enable me or any manager, or really anybody who has the access, uh, to be able to pull uh, a chat transcript or just view the chat transcript. So here's an example of what we capture on the chat transcript. Uh, first of all, it's timestamp with all the information. This is the chat that we had a little bit earlier on today. As you can see, the go to meeting link and things like that. Uh, all the session information here. So um, chat ID, email that was used, start and end times, duration, where it was requested from. Uh, it'll also add any additional ratings or comments that the client added in the post chat survey uh, for the manager, whoever's reviewing the transcript to view. Um, and then any agents, so the agents are going to go through and complete uh, their, their wrap up surveys after as well. We can have those uh, nicely packaged up in there too. So here are some additional session info where um, start time, IP, and even where they browsed on the site all within the chat transcript. Um, these can all be exported simply by selecting and hitting the export selected or export all. Uh, and you can also select a custom date uh, range or parameter, uh, last 14 days um, or you know just any time in general. You can also search for particular keywords. Let's say there's a new product, product launch uh, and you want to check to see how many chats you got about that particular product. You can search for a particular that product keyword in here. You can narrow it down by department, by agent, category, and then by hitting advanced, we can actually select a particular campaign or code plan uh, and then drill into that even further. We also capture messages, navigations, Mr. and Fuse chats, and then the Asian chats as well. All right, so let's move over to the reports tab. So this is, is the brand new Common Hunter reporting module. Uh, and the first thing we see here are all of our real-time reports. Uh, so within this, we're able to see a few things. Uh, now, how many agents are in chat, the current queue length, number of logged in agents. Actually, what I'm going to do just for the purposes of the webinar today is I'm going to log back into the COM100 um, account just so we can see some more data. All right, so let's jump over to the reports platform again. I think this will provide us a little, yeah, there we go, that's much better. Much better. So right now we have two agents that are in chat. So there's nobody waiting in the queue, three logged in agents, one ongoing chat, and uh, 87 visitors on the site. And this, and over the course of the day, that is our number of, of overall chat utilization. So we can see a couple of ongoing chats here. 
number of chats so far, the chat overuse, number of chat requests chat to chats, which means 100% acceptance rate. So that, of course, is the ideal number to hit. Um, any abandoned chats, anytime they switch to an offline message or a missed chat. We can also get a sense of our service efficiency, so average wait times, average chat time, agent response time, service accessibility rate, invitations if there were any, and any transfer chats, we manage that as well. For agent performance, we have a 100% unique chat rate, agent utilization, an average score of three. Let's jump over to the chat volume reports here. So this, this report breaks down the number of incoming chats, any missed chats, refused, and what our, our chat acceptance rate is. Uh, so right now we're looking over the last 30 days and we've achieved a 98.35 acceptance rate. Um, and we can then drill down further here and see for each day how many chats, what the acceptance rate is, uh, missed or refused chats, chat requests, and overall visits. And that's what's sorted by time. We can also drill into that by campaign, all the different chat campaigns, by department, and even by visitor segment. So for chat source, this is going to show the amount of chats that are issued by visitors, by, from manual invitations or from auto invitations, by time, by department, and then actually by requesting page two, uh, which is a great, uh, a great, a great to feature because that way we can see on what pages are the most high value. Uh, so if one goes a billing page or a pricing page, a lot of chats coming there, you can sort of get a sense of, of which are your top performing pages for uh, generating customer inquiries. Next up, we have the queue reports. So uh, segmenting chats from the queue, anytime they switch to a message, abandoned, refused, and max queue size. And for every day of the week there, or the month. Uh, we also have the ability to not only show the 24-7 distribution, but also down to the half hour level to really get a sense of when these chats are coming in, or you know how, in this case, how busy is the queue. Uh, average queue chat requests, and so on. Wait time. So showing all the average wait time, wait time of missed chats, max wait time, and max wait time of a missed chat. Chat transfer reports. Uh, so we have many clients that wanted to uh, keep track of any time chats are being transferred out of to another department or coming in. Uh, from a department, and by clicking on the department, we can see how many transferred in chats they have or transferred out chats. Availability. All right, so looking here, you know, how, how often or what, what's the percentage or overall time uh, in a 24-hour day the chat is available? By time, by department by agent even, um, and then we have the agent change log for their, their status when they were online, when they were available, uh, and we can also create custom away statuses. Overall workload, so linear chat time to idle time, so we get a sense of the agent uh, chat utilization. So for those that maybe have a taking chats, taking calls, doing emails, again, getting a sense of uh, how, how busy they are really with their overall workload for any day of the week, by time, by department, and by agent again. Chat efficiency reporting. So the average agent response time, average wait time, and average chat time. By time, of course, by date, by department, and then by agent. The rating page, so by time, by department and by agent, average score over the last 30 days. Post chat survey page, so being able to sort this by campaign as well. Pre chat survey, if that's optimized, I think we have that on our site. And then wrap up surveys. We can also get a sense of the manual and auto invitations, how those are performing. So if you are going to optimize uh, manual invitations or, or you want your agent sending manual invitations or um, an auto invitation, 
uh, being able to see what the conversion of those invitations are. Offline message and CAN message reporting as well. Next up, we have the integrations and API tab. So, you know, the access to the API, the webhooks, creating up custom variables, and all the different plugins that the Common Hunter solution provides. Excellent. So that wraps up what I'd like to show on the webinar today, uh, giving you sort of a full overview of the Common Hunter Enterprise platform. Um, and now what I'll do is open it up to any questions that any of the viewers have today. Uh, feel free to add those to the uh, the questions tab uh, within the GoToMeeting control panel. We'll give that a few minutes for those to uh, send their questions through. It doesn't appear that uh, anyone has any questions so far, but I'll uh, look at a few more minutes here, and then uh, if we have no questions, we will um, close down the webinar for today, and uh, what will happen is the, the recording will be sent out, uh, I believe, in the next 24 hours. Okay, so I'm not seeing any questions coming through. Um, if anyone does have a question, if there's any, uh, I guess, issue with GoToMeeting, uh, feel free to contact me directly. Here's my contact details are up on the page right now. Um, feel free to uh, give me a call or send me an email, rob at commoner.com. Uh, always happy to answer any questions, uh, and certainly we can provide a, a custom demo for anyone that uh, would like to see one. Um, and. Uh, yeah, thanks again to everyone for uh, taking the time to view the uh, that the webinar today, um, and please uh, definitely reach out if you have any any questions. Thank you, everybody. Have a great day.